So today's going to be another mobility day. Uh, we're not going to be going through anything super intensive. Uh, next week, we're going to switch to a three-day schedule. So we've been doing this uh, five days a week for now. Uh, next week, we will switch to a three-day schedule, probably a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But for the time being, today, we're going to work through a mobility flow. We're probably going to do some mobility for about 15 to 20 minutes. And the idea behind this is to loosen up from the week of workouts that we have done. Uh, the static stretches that we're going to be holding are going to be for an extended period of time. So for no less than a minute. Okay, so let's jump right in here, guys. Make sure the lights. All right, so first thing we're gonna do here, guys, we're gonna get into a tabletop position. So for that tabletop, we're gonna work through the first series of cat cows for 20 repetitions. So what that's gonna look like as I inhale. I'm going to extend and then I'm going to exhale, tuck my chin to my chest, push the floor away, round my back. That would be one. I'm going to repeat 19 times. Follow the breath here. First, you know, stay humble. You know, you gotta stay humble. You have to have to be dedicated. You know, no matter what, you have to be like try to do all your training. You have to eat clean. You know, ask questions. You know, try to keep motivated. Time, time is like always running. You know, if you stop, people are passing you. You know, so you gotta keep motivated as well. And believe in yourself. You have to be. Mind is everything. You know, it's all you. You gotta believe in yourself. It's all you because when you start like working, ten reps in, guys. Work as hard as he, he does too. You know. So that's a really good way to warm up the spine. Next one we're going to do is a twist and cross. So we're going to get a stretch in the front of the shoulder as well as in the lower back. The way this is going to work, I'm going to go face down here. Arms there playing out. I'm going to step over and across to one side. Hold for a second or two. Back to the middle to the other side. We're going to do 20 total reps here, guys. 10 per side. Yeah, 
from that hips down position. So we're gonna keep our hips and our thighs on the ground. We're gonna to continue to loosen up the lower back a little bit. So we're gonna do something called a hips down push up. So I'm here, keeping my hips down. I'm gonna press my upper body off the floor and return back down. We're gonna do that 20 times. That's ten. a hamstring stretch. So, if you have a band, you can use a band, but we're just going to show you the simplified version. We're going to hold this stretch each uh, on one, each side for one minute. So, the less flexible you are, the lower down, below your knee tap you be, the more flexible you are, the higher up you do. So, less flexible, more flexible. Even though you're going to pull back and hold this stretch, guys. I will tell you when to switch. Tight hamstrings are one of the major causes of low back pain. So it's really important if you have lower back pain that you're keeping your hamstrings nice and loose, guys. We're about 20 seconds in here. Thirty seconds left. Make some circles with your ankle if you want, clockwise and counterclockwise. Last 20 seconds. Really important to keep that leg completely straight. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and let's go to that other side, guys. See, this side's definitely tighter for me. It is completely normal to have one side that's tighter, one side that you carry more weight on, and stress, whatever the case might be. But it's important to try and mobilize these areas every single day. Because they're the ones that commonly call back pain and they're also always working with our muscles. And the muscles are always getting in the way. You can just walk. 30 seconds left. Make some circles. Make some circles. 20 seconds left. And 
I work on my mobility a lot, so I'm able to keep this position. If you have tight hands, some people are going to be like in this position. If you're here, please bring your feet in closer this way until you can keep your legs straight. Okay? You hear that? From there, what we're going to do is just, some of you might feel the stretch here just like this. If you don't, you can just lean forward slightly and we're just going to hold this position. With the forearms to the floor, be really comfortable. I've seen people get their chest to the floor. I'm nowhere near that right now. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to walk our hands over to one side now. So I'm going to go start with my right. Same idea. Try to hold my chest over that side. If I want more of a side body stretch. I can lean and reach that one arm over. I'm going to feel a stretch over my left side body. All right, and then we're going to go to the other side now. We can walk over to the other side. Posture is not good. You can do this against the wall so that your lower back is pushed into the wall and you're able to stay upright with your chin tucked. We have about 30 seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, guys. So from there, what we're going to do is go into a pigeon pose. So. We have a couple of variations or options here. So a modified version, which I really like, I'm not gonna do it because I don't have the wall space, but let's just imagine that my feet were on a wall now, right? What I would do is take one leg over, figure four my leg over, and just push here, just like this. I'm in here. Uh, okay. Barely any volume, so I don't know why you can't hear me, but all right. So against the wall, guys, into that figure four stretch. You can do it that way, or you can just do a regular pigeon pose. A regular pigeon pose. You don't want to force your knee into this position, but ideally, the front knee here is going to be completely right here. It's going to be parallel to the wall in front of you as you lean over this position and hold it, okay guys? So your choice on which one you're gonna do here, 
So we're gonna hold each side for a full minute. And just try to breathe into the stretch, guys. It's important to breathe here. Don't hold your breath. Every time I take a deep breath in, big exhale, and you can kind of get a little bit deeper into that stretch. And that's what your focus should be, just going a little bit deeper into the stretch each time. About 25 more seconds in this position, guys, and then we're going to switch sides. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And slowly, guys, we're gonna come on out of that. And now we're gonna switch to the other side. So to that other leg. We're gonna go for a full minute here. Same idea, we're never holding our breath in this position, always making sure that we're really trying to hold the stretch, uh, not to the point where it hurts, but to the point where you actually feel like you're stretching. What you're gonna do, whatever leg is forward, the outside of that hip or your glute muscle is where you should feel this. Some people might feel it into the lower back as well. Some people might feel it in their knees. If you feel it in your knees, you're probably not doing it correctly. You don't want to feel it in your knees. 20 seconds left, guys. There, slowly come on out of that. We're going to finish off with a little bit of a hip flexor stretch. So from this position, what this is going to look like, guys, when I'm here, 90 degree angle. I don't want to hyperextend and push into this position. The way I'm going to prevent that from happening, squeezing the glute of the knee that's down. From here, I'll drive my hip forward slightly. And now I'm going to really feel that stretch right through the front of that hip flexor into the groin. We want to try not to hyperextend our back here too much. You want a little bit of an extra stretch, the same side leg that's down. You can reach that arm up to the sky and you're really going to feel it pull it all through that psoas muscle. Almost like you're trying to screw in a light bulb on the ceiling. And you're reaching. We got about 20 seconds left. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come on out of that. We're gonna go to the other side, guys. Squeeze, reach. And hold. Remember, this stretch you'll feel here as you raise that arm up. You're going to feel it even more all through that psoas muscle, which is a deep hip flexor. Another muscle that contributes a lot to low back pain. People carry a lot of stress in that area as well. Thirty seconds left. Especially on this one, guys. It's easy to hold your breath here. Don't hold your breath. Maybe shallow breaths. It's hard to get a deep breath in here, especially when your flexors are tight. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, with that, we are done for the day. 
This is a mobility routine that will be stored on the Facebook page. You can always utilize this again in the future. Have an awesome weekend. See you.